What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel, The Stone Mandalorian. I'm The Stone Man, or you can call me Cody, whichever you prefer. And today we'll be taking a look at a, a somewhat of an older figure. This figure came out in 2021 sometime. And you know, there's a, every day there's new, more and more new collectors come into this hobby of collecting, even the Black Series line. And I know there's a lot of other, there's probably a lot of other reviews on this figure out there, but I haven't done a, done a review for it on my page, so I figured why not. Uh, but today we're going to be taking a look at Aura Singh from the Clone Wars subline. And uh, if, if you notice, uh, you might not even notice, I'm actually doing this review a little bit different. This is actually a voiceover. Most of the time I do my reviews like on, on the fly, you know, but I figured I'd just try something a little bit different this time. So hope you all like it. But anyways... Back to the figure at hand. And I've said this for my other Clone Wars reviews. I love the yellow color on, for, for the Clone Wars subline. Uh, this is also a very cool character. She's actually Force sensitive and was even trained to be a Jedi Padawan. But just, I think she was even trained with uh, Kiyoti Mundi's uh, master. I forget forget their name at this moment right now. Um, she's also very well known for having the antenna, her, her bio computer, Comlink. That big old antenna sticking out of her head, it's called a, a, a biocomputer. And what she uses it not only to help line, her, line up her shots with her rifle, but also uh, it helps her track multiple targets when she's bounty hunting. And she's just a, honestly a very interesting character. She's a pretty bad bitch. Her species is called like a, a pa Paladivan, pa Paladivan or something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation but she was also born on Nar Shada to uh her mother was addicted to spice and eventually she was found by the Jedi and was thought to be force sensitive and they took her um that's pretty much the main rundown that I know about her so let's get into this figure and check her out and here's her rifle I have no idea what the name of this rifle is actually called but it's a very cool sculpt got some nice brown paint little speck of red there on the end nice very neutral gray plastic Yeah, it looks pretty good. And here's her little bandolier sling thing for her her rifle. It's got two nice little sculpted pouches on there. I probably won't display her with this, but it is pretty cool that she comes with it. And here is her blasters, uh, the DX-13s. They're double triggered. We got two words for you. Suck it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool sculpt. Would like to see a little bit more paint on these. But overall, it looks, it looks really cool. I like it. Just a neutral gray plastic. A little bit darker than the rifle. And now getting to onto Aura Singh herself. And if you know it, uh, if you're not familiar, the, this from the bottom down, her legs have had a lot of reuse uh, on Holdo and uh, I'm trying to think what other figures. I believe Alea Sakura as well. All the same legs. You can see here the articulation, you get a full T, and they spin 365 degrees around. Get, get a little bit less than 90 degrees at the elbow. Uh, got a horizontal hinge. It's kind of kind of bright, sorry about that. But got a vertical hinge on the right hand and a horizontal on the left. Get a little bit of ab crunch here. She's got some rotation and a little bit of back and forth. Or diaphragm articulation, whatever you like to call that. I guess it's not really ab crunch. A little bit of mobility here. She goes up and down a little bit. And for her having this big old ponytail, she's actually got some pretty decent head articulation. Goes side to side, just a little bit. Not a whole lot of play, but you can get a slight bit of expression out of her. Feet can kick out a little bit in front of her. Feet are a little bit more... Uh, immobilized a little bit or hindered by that by the, her kind of like waist bandolier or holsters and that chain but still a pre pretty cool sculpt man i like i like her holsters and her chains looks pretty badass it's kind of metal looking but you can't get her foot out about that far she's got i don't think she really has much kickback and that, there's a split right there or not really a split that's about as far wide as she can get Double pin jointed knee so you can get that cap to touch the hamstring way, way below 90. Feet go down about that far. They come up just a tad bit. 
And of course, there's rockers on here as well. Oh, I also got Thigh Swivel, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm going to miss that. Seems like they're starting to get away from that. It works on some figures. On a character like this where her pants are all one color and one texture, it's not a big deal. But it can aesthetically break up the figure. <clears throat> and getting onto the hair here, I really like the sculpt and the transition of like brown to yellowish paint. I really like the way it looks. And then inside of the beads here that I'm going to show you on a second looks, they, they're they so cleanly painted. Got a little bit, look at those beads, man. So cleanly applied. I love the way that looks, man. They did a very good job on this ponytail. And also you can see her antenna, her bio computer comm link there coming out of her head. Use it to track bounties, enhance her senses, etc., etc. Line up shots with her rifle. And the face sculpt, the photo was actually very, very nicely done too. It looks very similar to the actor from Attack of the Clones. I'm sorry, not Attack of the Clones. Phantom Menace, I'm sorry. Got some nice sculpting, little armband there, little ribbon tied around. Some really nice sculpting on this figure, man, I gotta say. Or Singh's got a rocking little bod, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I like my girls a little bit thicker, but this is a very nicely sculpted figure. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Very cool figure. I like the chains right here and her belt. A little bit of silver paint on the buckle there and the chains themselves. I like the brown color that they used on the boots and her, her holsters and stuff like that. Got some pretty deep cuts on these double pin and joined knees. Pinned, double pin and joined the knees. And this chain, the, the overlay of the holster, the chains are malleable. You wouldn't think they'd get in the way as, as much, but they do kind of inhibit her leg articulation a pretty good bit. They kind of close her hips up. But anyway, I like the color that they use for her skin. Very pale looking. Uh, the sculpt on the fingers is pretty incredible too. Very long alien look like looking figures. Fingers. Look at that, man. Her skin is just so pale. It's hard. It was hard to get my camera to focus. She was just, the light was her flat. I probably should have turned my light down, but it is what it is. And now here we are to my favorite part of my videos and my reviews, the side-by-side -side comparisons. And I love the way this looks, man. The really, really Clone Wars-y on my, on, my, on my desk right now. But here on the left is the Padawan Ahsoka, and on the right is General Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here on the right is the brand new Droid Ika, amazing, amazing figure. And on the left is the Red Box Count Dooku. Here on the right is the Death Watch Mando, and on the left is the Clone Wars Maul. Love both of these figures. Probably two of my top five favorite figures in the entire line, especially that Death Watch Mando. And here on the left is the Phase 1 Clone Trooper, plain vanilla, and also on the on the right is the Phase 2 uh, plain vanilla Clone Trooper, and these look awesome. Here on the left is uh, Brocka Bad Batch version of Cad Bane, and on the right is the red and black box version of Padme Amidala. Well, that wraps it up for this review. Uh, very, very cool figure. I've had her for quite a while, and I, I've said in my other reviews, I've been going through. I started out as an inbox collector, but that plastic free packaging really got me into enjoying loose figures. So I've been opening up a lot of my stuff as of late, and it's just a very cool figure. Man, I feel like it's a very good representation for this character. Uh, Aura Singh is kind of a, I guess before the Clone Wars, she was considered a deep cut or background character because she was just in that one scene. Uh, during the Boonta Eve pod race and Phantom Menace. But now she's been a part of so many arcs in Clone Wars. She's fought she's fought alongside Cat Bane. She's fought alongside Bosk, Boba Fett when he was younger. Even mentored Boba Fett for a short time period. But yeah, just a, I really like this figure, man. Very cool to have another, let alone a, a female on the shelf. Because sometimes in Star Wars it can feel a little bit like a sausage fest. But very cool to have another female character on the shelf. An alien female character at that. Uh, very awesome sculpting. Photo reel is pretty incredible. Looks the likeness is very similar, if not dead on, to the actor who played or seen more so in the movies than the animated series version. But awesome, really decent paint. Uh, I like the colors that they use for the skin and for her her like her like jumpsuit or coveralls, whatever you want to want to call it. But if you're a Clone Wars fan and just a, a prequel fan in general, this is definitely a character you have to have. And who doesn't want more? I, I know, I know, I do. I want more aliens on my shelf. Aliens, it just makes it makes the galaxy feel bigger. It's what makes Star Wars Star Wars, other than lightsabers and the Force and stuff like that. But 
all the different species and characters and uh, kind of like made up cultures that they have and all the all the background information that we get on these characters. You can just really get lost in it, man. But very happy to finally have this figure open and in my Clone Wars section area of my shelf. Definitely recommend picking her up. She's pretty cheap right now on Amazon and Big Bad, other places like that. So if you don't have this figure yet, definitely recommend it. She's got some awesome accessories. Comes with her rifle, uh, dual-wielding blasters. Got a sling for her rifle. Um, also, it's very decent articulation, cool sculpting. And yeah, just overall recommend having this figure if you're a Clone Wars or Prequels fan, man. Or girl. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's where I'm up for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I do a lot of Black Series reviews. Uh, every once in a while I'll throw up a Marvel Legends or just any other cool figure or uh, collectible that I find that I think is badass and that I want to share with others. So I hope you're all having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Go check out some of my other content. I hope you enjoy it. May the Force be with you.